Well, our producer, Brad Johnson, is telling me that we have David Taylor live via Skype. David, how are you? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you doing? Good, bud. Uh, well, the word is out. The decision to make a weight change is the absolute talk of the sport. How did you make the decision? Well, I think before I think first things first. I, I really want to thank my sponsors for the opportunity to train and compete and really make this decision. You know, Adidas Wrestling, Flips and Compound Clothing, All Force Nutrition, Milwaukee Tool, and Line Wrestling Club. Um, but really, you know, making a decision it really comes down to you know looking at my my future and what I think's best for me moving forward. Um, I was very big for my my weight class previously at seventy four kilos, and, and ultimately that that big weight cut. I couldn't put my best performance on the mat. And at this level, you know, trying to be the, the elite of what we're doing, um, you got to be at your best. So ultimately, just kind of making that decision that you know, I think it's time to, to try to reevaluate what I was doing and, and decided that best what's best for me and moving forward was moving up to 86 kilos. Um, and right now, just really focus on that transition and trying to be the best wrestler I can be moving forward. Adding 30 pounds or so to your frame can do a lot of things. How do you see it affecting your speed? I think that, you know, wrestling is wrestling. In my career, I've made multiple weight, big weight jumps, you know, and each time it's tough transition at first because, you know, the way I wrestle, I'm not a, an explosive guy, you know, I'm not going to fake, 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 double leg, um, you know, that's kind of something that, you know, maybe could transition easier. And I'm a pretty technical guy, you know, moving guys around, getting used to the, you know, just the, the size difference is, is the big thing. So sometimes it, it's a little bit of a slower transition. And every time my career I've done it, um, after that slow transition, I've made a big jump. So I think moving forward, I think I have a big advantage. Uh, obviously, wrestling lighter in, in my career. Now moving up to 189 pounds, I think I'll be able to keep that same speed um, and movement and constant attacking and be able to transition that well in this new weight class. Oh, your, your ankle pick is one of the quickest at any level. Will you have to adjust your technique for that specific move? Well, I think so a little bit. You know, I think you know now just getting back to you know before it was, it was so much so much emphasis on on the weight management pro, uh, aspect and knowing that when I made weight I was me bigger than my opponents. Where now it's it's back to you know becoming a better wrestler again. So just getting back to the, the fine tuning the little things, the moving guys a little bit more, twisting their shoulders, pulling their head down, you know, pulling them to the ankle, um, you know, just constantly and getting my attack. Um, you know, attacks per match, you know, higher than what they've been, I think is, is the key to moving forward and having success in this new weight class. So, you know, it may be not score on my first four or five ankle picks, but you know, by that fifth or sixth moving forward in that match, I believe that's where I'll be able to continue my attacks, get to my finishes, and, and hopefully create separation at this new weight class. David, how do you fa uh, feel about facing your former Penn State teammate, Ed Ruth? I mean, it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, Ed is a phenomenal wrestler, and you know, looking back at our careers at Penn State, you know, I believe we were the two, uh, you know, most dominant wrestlers on one team in the history of the sport. You know, and, and you know, we, we both had that same mentality. You know, every day going into practice, we push each other in college, and you know, we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for each other. You know, and I'm pretty, pretty confident about that. But I think. You know, you know, we both have goals, and, and ultimately we're going to weight class that we think we have the best chance to continue to fulfill our goals. Um, you know, it's going to be exciting. We're both very nonstop attacking, um, trying to put points on the scoreboard. And, you know, I, when I view Ed, I view him as an unbelievable opponent. So, you know, it just it's going to come down to, you know, going out and you know, who, who's going to fight a little bit harder in that six-minute go. And, you know, for us, you know, who's going to put the most points on the board? Uh, I can guarantee that when we wrestle, there, uh, there won't be a shortage of points for the fans. So it'll be exciting, and you know it's just uh, you know we're probably gonna wrestle a few times over the next couple of years, and, and moving forward through the next cycle. So it'll uh, it'll be interesting for sure. David, you've been working magic marketing yourself and the sport. What's next? Well, I think right now, you know, moving forward, it's it, it's you know we're we're about you know seven months away from the Olympic trials, so that's definitely the number one priority. But along the way, you know, building these brands that I'm associated with, you know, right now, uh, recently flips. Uh, wrestling has, has merged with compound clothing and right now we're really focusing as a company on the on the retail side of of the wrestling sport um, so I'm, we have a great group of guys with flips and compound I uh, really kind of cover them from every weight class and every personality in the sport that uh, is really exciting you know we, we recently just kind of got together for this beach games um, and it was really awesome because not only did we People get together as wrestlers, but people kind of put that wrestling barrier down and just really enjoy the company. And in doing so, we really got to know each other. And I think we kind of created, um, you know, this unity as a company moving forward of, of what we can do to really help each other grow the sport, um, as, as well as helping our company move the sport as one team. You know, as wrestlers, you know, 
where are we are because of the way we've competed and the way we've, we've uh, you know, handled ourselves on and off the map. But, you know, we really have a, you know, we have a time span of when we're the most relevant. And if the most that we can do to kind of help these companies that, that help us, you know, I think it's, it's a great, great scenario for, for both, both parties. Um, in addition, you know, right now, uh, Adidas just launched the M- M2 Wrestling. Matt Wizard, um, you know, Takedown Radio has been uh, extremely supportive um, of that in the last few months. And, and we're coming out with a new gray colorway in December. So that's, ex- that's extremely exciting. Exciting. Um, Milwaukee Tools has been very supportive. And just recently, in the, next, in the last month, I, they, they've uh, been really huge, I think, in corporate sponsorship and support of wrestling and really helping wrestlers uh, you know, right now on and off the mat. Um, you know, that's really exciting. And, and all force nutrition, um, with the Zilverbrick family has, has been uh, really supportive of me uh, and their supplement company is, is really important because that's really helping me right now with this weight, weight transition, you know, with their, uh, their proteins and their jo- joint formulas and their nighttime recovery and the pre-force, uh, are great products and they're really helping me right now. So the combination of all of that and being able to train every day with the Line wrestling club, you know, I wouldn't be able to sit- be in the situation that I am without all of my sponsors and all of the support that they give me. Um, and that's extremely exciting right now moving forward. It's, uh, it's really nice and really reassuring that you know, feeling that support from them and, and how encouraging they are with my wrestling career um, right now and the future moving forward. So I wouldn't be where I am without those guys. And I just, it's really appreciative of everything they do for me. Well, you're appreciative of them and I'm sure they are of you, David. Uh, the sport's obviously in good hands, yours, and we appreciate that too. Good luck with the transition, and thanks for the time, Magic Man. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for having me on, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you guys again in the future, and thanks for everything you guys do for the sport. 